tearing me apart How much can it take this tiny little heart? Don't let anybody tear this world apart Join in my crusade and fight beside this tiny little heart Don't you take for granted everything you've got Listen to the beating of my little heart Tiny little heart, tiny little heart Join in my crusade with my tiny little heart Down Under. When a young gnome decides to build a house, it usually means he's thinking of getting married. Tanti had just turned a hundred when he told Lisa and me that he felt it was time to build his own house. As his aunt and uncle, we offered to help him make his dream come true. <laughs> Whoa! And of course, the animals lent a hand. Monstro the Mole dug the cellar, whilst Hammerhead helped to hollow out the chimney. And good old Cottontail? <laughs> well, she said she could paint anything. <laughs> Harmony? I'm Harmony, and I'm Melody. Can't you tell us apart yet, Tom T? It's pretty difficult. Milia said he needs to see you and your Uncle David. He said right away, Tom T. Then we'd best hurry. Come on. Be right back, Aunt Lisa. See you soon, Dad. Hey, wait for me. Milius, my friend, we need your help. We have a baby koala. He's very sick. He's got a fever, chills, a terrible cough, and his chest hurts real bad. Sounds to me like pneumonia. The symptoms are spreading. Mo, oh, ma. Oh, I just don't know what I'm going to do next. <laughs> wait a minute. It sounds like trouble. Hey, look, it's going up that tree. Hey, who's gonna climb the tree, me or you? Stinky. It can't be me, I'm scared of heights. I've got to go, there's some trolls chasing the koalas. Those troublesome trolls again. You have to leave for Australia at once, David, now go. We're on our way. Now, why on earth do those two want to go along? Cola, you have to climb as high as you can! Huh? Hey, look! It's a little gnome. Come here! Huh? Let's squash this gnome in his home! Ah. Oh, dear! Uh. Get out of my face, bird brain, or I'll smack you! Yeah! Now I'll show you how to really smack things! <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, that was funny! Do it again, Drew! I almost forgot about the teddy bear! Are you ready, Teddy? Here comes Drew! Hey, not fair! I shot him first, and besides, I'm a much better climber than either of you two! What's it? Who you threatening? Going up! Hey, come back! Mm. Oh, you're mine! <laughs> <laughs> That's really using your head, Brute! <laughs> Stop 
fooling around and getting away. How do you know? I can't even see him. What a stupid place to put a tree. Come on, pea brain. Are those birds arctic terns? They sure are, Tumpty. At last, Australia. Isn't it beautiful? Hello, Hello. my friends. Hello. From the deepest rainforests to the driest inland deserts, Australia is home to so many unique and wonderful species found nowhere else on Earth. And good day to you! Jalu's house should be through that clearing up ahead, Tumpty. I just hope we're not too late. We left as soon as we got Jalu's message, Rainbow. Boy, what a mess! It's just that Trondheim, Norway is such a long way. From Australia. Mm. Come on, we have to try and move this beam off the door and see if Jalu's all right. He may be trapped in there. Great. Thank you, Candy. I'm sure a couscous such as yourself does have the tail strength to move this beam, so I'll leave you to it. Gnomtastic! You did it, Candy! <laughs> Jalu! Well, if he's down there, I'm sure we'll find him, Rainbow. Be careful, Tomty. Whoa! Any sign of him? Yes, he's here. He's in a bad way. Oh. He's still breathing. Look out! Quick, Tomty, we have to get Jalu out of here. <laughs> Hopefully, these smelling salts should wake him up. It was the trolls. Quick, we've got to find Todd and Cola. There's one in the tree. Oh! 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 Hey, white broke dancing. I thought we were chasing bears. I've got to catch me a fur ball. All the commotion. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Spike, you're the bravest echidna I've ever met. How you managed to chase those trolls away all by yourself, I'll never know. Look! Up in the tree, it's Kyla and she's safe! Ah. You can come down now, it's gonna be all right! Carla, I'd like you to meet David. He's a doctor and a royal environmental knight. <laughs> now, I need to see your baby, please, Cola. I have to make a thorough examination. Look, Harmony, she carries her baby in a pouch in her stomach. <laughs> <laughs> 
Cola's a marsupial and has carried Todd in her pouch ever since he was born. That way she knows for sure that he's always safe and sound. <coughs> it's serious, Jalu. I'm afraid that pneumonia has already started to settle in his lungs. <coughs> There's something wrong with Cola as well, David. See, I think she may be losing her sight. Could you take a look at her? Certainly. Cola, could you just bend down and look at me? Well, she has an eye infection. What could have caused it? The infection has been caused by a highly contagious bacteria. My guess is that Cola passed this on to poor little Todd when he was born. There must be something we can do for them. Well, I don't have the medicine that I really need with me, Tomty, but here, put this under Todd's nose to help him breathe easier. Here, Todd, breathe deeply. I just wish there was more I could do for him. Now, you're gonna have to let us put some of this ointment on your eyes to soothe them, Cola. I'll do it. It'll ease the itching, but it won't cure them, I'm afraid. Then what will, David? We have to do something. The way this sickness is spreading, it'll soon be way out of control. Don't worry, Jalu. I'm sure we'll find the answer in my medicinal herb journal. Now, where is it? It has to be in here somewhere. We'll find a cure, I'm sure we will. Where's that book? Ah, at last! Now, let's see. Contagious bacteria. Yes, there is an antibiotic, but it can only be found in certain species of eucalyptus. We've over a thousand types of eucalyptus in Australia, David, but still, I'm sure with the help of my cassowary friends, we can help you to find the right one. <whistles> David, this is Cassie and her mate, Nova. Thank you both for getting here so quickly. I need your help in finding a certain species of eucalyptus for the sick koalas. Do you think you can help me? <laughs> Hold steady now, Cola. That's just wonderful. Now we better hurry. No worries, David. Our transport's ready and waiting. Wait, what do you want me to do? Talk to the animals, Melody, and tell them to get all the sick koalas to come here. Tell them that we'll be back as soon as we can. Okay, I'll start right away. That's it, Todd. Keep breathing in the vapors. Uncle David said they'll help you. That's it, nice and deep. Huh? Sleep. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Poor little guy. Uncle David told me koalas sleep for up to 18 hours a day. Not all at once, of course. They nap, then eat, then nap, and so on. You know, Harmony? They're vegetarians, just like gnomes, and their main diet is eucalyptus leaves. It's so sad that they're sick. And look, they have two thumbs, making it easier for them to feed. <coughs> They're beautiful, oh. Tom. Do you smell them? I can't smell huh? anything, Harmony. They're just dry weeds. Even your delicate little nose should tell you that. They do smell beautiful if you use your imagination and remember nature made each and every one of them different. Do you think I'm different to my sister, Tom T? Well, I think I can tell you apart now. Yeah! Good. Melody is very nice, of course. But there is something about you. I, I guess it's because you like to do the same things as I do, like planting those seeds just now. That was sweet of you, Harmony. <coughs> Poor Todd. He can't breathe. I hope Uncle David and Jalu get back soon. This is it. This is the one that we're looking for. Well done, Cassie and Nova. Now all we have to do is pick enough to heal the koalas, but how? G'day there. David, this is Ringo, the ring-tailed possum. Excuse me, Ringo, but would you help us to make the koalas better? It's important. We need to pick as many of these leaves as we can. Now, all we have to do is figure out how to get them back. I've friends who will be perfect for the job. Yay! Please listen to me. If we don't help the koalas soon, it could be too late. Please, if any of you see...
see a sick koala, tell them they should come to the clearing for help straight away. Please do your best to tell as many as you can. It may just save their lives. <laughs> Those red kangaroos will help us. I wonder what they're fighting about. Pogo, Thumper, stop! Why are you two fighting? If what you say is true and the humans have somehow poisoned this water, then of course you are right in stopping Thumper from taking a drink from it. Hey, wait a minute. Oh. Well, Thumper, Pogo probably just saved your life. This empty container was once full of a deadly poison. A deadly poison? Why don't humans ever think of the consequences? <clears throat> Believe it or not, some Ooh. farmers see kangaroos as a pest that needs to be destroyed. They see the vegetation and water resources as being purely for the benefit of their sheep and cattle. Still, this should soon take care of the poison in the water. Please gather round, I need to talk to you all. The koalas are sick and I need you to help carry the medicine. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, Pogo. And thanks to you too, Queenie. And especially you, Squeaky. You better hold on to your hat, David. These kangaroos can jump about 25 feet in a single hop and travel at speeds of up to 30 miles an hour. That's fast. Calder, you must stop rubbing your eyes or you're going to make them itch a lot more, you know. <coughs> what can be taking them so long? Harmony! Tumpty! The trolls have a koala trapped up a power pole. I'd better go and help him. Melody, would you stay here and watch Todd? Sure. I'll come with you. Hold on tight. Bye! <coughs> How can I help, Todd? Wow, well, what do you know? A meal on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got you now. All that looking up is making me dizzy. Get up, me! <laughs> Watch the waistcoat. There he is, Thor! On the pole! <whistles> Harmony, go and find Uncle David! Hurry! Let's go, Thor! Hi there, fella. Just hold on. Mm. Hey, what's <laughs> that? <laughs> that, my friend, is the sweet smell of a gnome! <laughs> oh! oh, oh. 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 Let's get them both. Oh, oh, hold on tight. Oh, 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 no, hold on tight, Teddy. Oh, oh. Why did you climb up here, Teddy? Don't you know the power cables are dangerous? Uh, really? I mean, uh, you, you thought it was a tree? Can't you tell the difference between a power pole and a tree? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Don't worry, my Uncle David will help. Here, little Teddy Weddy. Come to Uncle's Wooly Wooly. Oh, we're shaking downy wowly. Yeah. Oh, here we go again. Yo! Hey, don't Root make a really great firework? Yeah, that ain't bad, Root, old buddy. No, no, stay away, Harmony. The power cables are deadly. I'm going to get you! Hey, stop that! Leave them alone! Or you'll face the consequences! Uh? Wow, well, looky here, gnomies with some giant mice with big feet and little heads. Yeah, they must be the consequences he was talking about. Yippee, we 
you're safe now. So you think you can make us leave him alone, do you know me? Oh! Good on you, Pogo! <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you got a real kick out of that meeting, bro! Oh, so you wanna fight dirty, do ya? No! <laughs> oh! Hey, that's my pal you just came! Oh! Oh. I'm gonna get you for that! Oh. 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 Uh -oh. Now then, what shall we do with you? Well, actually, I was just leaving. Wait for me! Will you, Teddy? That was quite some kick, Queenie. Yeah, great technique, Pogo. Oh, Tomty! Uncle David, meet Teddy. He's got a problem with his eyes. <coughs> well, let's see if we can help you, Teddy. Okay, Jalu, Tomty, we need to get Teddy and all this medicine back to the clearing. <coughs> this way, then, Teddy! We'll meet you there, Tomty. All right, my friends, we gotta save those koalas. Let's get going. I'm not quite ready yet, Thor. Aha. I'm Tomty. not very good at this, Harmony, but when I was up that power pole, I kind of got scared, and I promised myself that if I got down safe, then I would ask you if... Yes, Tomty? <laughs> If you would be my sweetheart, Harmony. <laughs> ah, yes, Tomty, I'd be proud to. Yippee! Yippee! <laughs> Come on, Thor! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Colo. I just don't know what to do to help you. <laughs> Don't worry, my friends. We'll be here soon. Hang on! <laughs> Whee! Where have you two been? I didn't know where you were. Have you seen all these sick koalas we have to look after? They're on their way with Metzen right now, Melody. Why are you grinning at each other like two 60-year-olds? We're in love, Melody. Tomty asked me to be his sweetheart, and of course I said yes! Oh, congratulations, sis. I'm so happy for both of you. You're a pretty lucky young gnome, Tomty. Thank you for the ride, Queenie. Now, you Thumper and Pogo better hand the medicine out to all these poor koalas right away. Look up in the tree, Uncle David. There's some more koalas. Come on down. We've got plenty of medicine, so by tomorrow, most of you will be feeling a whole lot better. <laughs> Come on, Harmony. Let's get the medicine. Take this. There are less than 40,000 koalas left in the world. Every year, as more and more of their natural habitat is destroyed by human activity, this number gets smaller and smaller. Isn't it sad to imagine a world without koalas? But unless humans give these animals proper protection, that day will surely come. Yeah! Our grandchildren, Anna and Harry, helped Lisa and I save an abandoned dog called Felicity on Easter Day. 
We search for a loving home in a human city for this adorable creature, but encounter many dangers awaiting us in this hostile environment. The city is a dangerous and unfriendly place for many animals, and we must work together to make it habitable for all species, humans included. Come and join the new world of the gnomes in our search for a good home for Felicity. Bum, bum, bum. 